Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today's video is the Zales Mach Final Completion. At least the first floor of it anyway. Uh, something else I would like to point out is the turntable that I am using in this video. It was something that I recently purchased from Amazon and I did show this in a recent haul video as well. As a matter of fact, if you look up here at the top of your screen, I will be putting a link for that particular video as well. Anyway, uh, this particular mock was actually inspired by a retired Batman set. Batman's, uh, probably I should say Catwoman set, but I call it Batman. But anyway, it was uh, 70902. The set was called the Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase set, and that originally had 139 pieces. And as you can see here, this is one of the tiles that was from that set, which is a missing cat sign. Uh, also, this door with the closed sticker. And this sign here was also all part of that set. And that is actually what inspired this entire build of the Zale store itself anyway. I thought it was a really cute little set and I wanted to make it something more city-like. And here we have it. And then for the piece of resistance, if you will, <laughs> I made this building completely six stories tall. Uh, I'm not certain that I'm going to keep it the full six stories tall. Once I get it placed in the city, I may uh, shrink it down just a tad. This is modular, though, and each floor does come apart individually, and there will be a stairs added to the floors as I keep the building up. But anyway, let's scroll back down to here. Uh, the Zale store, as you can see, I have a lot of different jewelry in the windows and jewelry displays. These corner pieces are actually from an older, I believe it's uh, the Ari's Deli set, if I'm not mistaken. It was an older Lego uh, Junior set, and it adds to a lot of detail on the building. And then I also used these two tiles here, and I'm going to explain why when we get to the interior of the building. As it, it relates to having the displays for the jewelry itself. Let me go ahead and pause the spinning of the building there and let's get a better view. And now that we have the top of the building off, there's a little more light inside to give you a little bit better illumination. Anyway, as you can see here, this particular door takes you into the entryway of the apartment complex as there is a store or a stair that goes through the entire building on that portion of the build. And then over here is the glass entry doors to get into the store itself. Now let's zoom this up a little closer. As you can see here, there is a lot of details on the interior. Uh, I tried to make sure I included a bunch of different types of uh, display cases, if you will, for all the different jewelry. As if you go into any jewelry store, there is a ton of different glass cases, so you can see all the jewelry in its full glory. Now, as I was showing you over here on the back side of the building, I had a unique brick or a tile wall for. And what that was for is for putting in these displays here. Now, let me get an even better, better image of the interior of the building. First, I want to show a little bit better of a bird's eye view of the interior of the building. And as you can see here, you have a woman at the uh, cash register. She would be the counter person. This is the cash register, and then there's actually even jewelry below the cash register and the display counter here. We have a small clock and a security camera up on the wall. And then we even have a few tiaras and some other miscellaneous items on the shelf above the salesperson staff. Now turning this around, you can see kind of a little bit more why now I have these particular pieces used here on the back side of the store. It was to allow for me to be able to make these cabinets to recess into the wall for the jewelry. Now, mind you, I'm not going to go into too much detail as far as the display counters themselves, uh, but I will, in a later date, make a how-to video as to why I did what I did to make these displays uh, to be able to hold the jewelry and stuff on the inside of the building. Uh, again, as you can see here, this is the front of the building looking from the inside out. You can see, again, those display cases, so that way they are very well displayed on the exterior of the building in the windows of the building. Now let's get a lower, closer, oh, something else I do want to point out before I go too far away. On the staircase, I do have a, uh, I'm trying to remember the, anyway, a buzzer to get up to the apartments, and then I also have an interior light for above the stair as well. 
and now that we are back down to the ground floor level, uh, I have removed the side wall so we can get a much better view of the interior of the building. Again, you can see that I have two glass display cases on the center of the floor, and I'm going to go ahead and remove one of those real quick. Actually, let's go ahead and remove them both. So that way you can see all the way in the back what I was referring to as uh, the reasoning for having the display counter back there. You can see that there's jewelry in that as well. And again, I will be discussing a lot of these items in some of my tips and tricks videos coming up. I went ahead and pulled out the uh, minifigs to try and make it to where it was a little bit easier to see in there. Uh, like I said, it's, it's always hard to, to film with these very small builds and to get up in there and get some really good detail. Uh, see if I can get that to zoom a little better. There you go. Now you can see a little bit better what I mean by having the display case and having the jewelry in the windows themselves. Uh, also, let's go ahead and take a really quick video of the actual two displays that I removed from here. There, now you can see these in a lot better detail as well. At least I hope you can. Let's get them zoomed into the center of the screen a little bit better. And we do not need that center light on as there's already way too much lighting probably on this entire display. Uh, as you can tell here though, like I said, that you can see from any of the sides of each one of these displays, you can clearly see through it, you can see what's inside of it. Uh, and I just, I thought these were a really nice touch for the interior of the building as, uh, with any, any jewelry store, I don't care whether it be a Zales or any other jewelry store, they always have these really beautiful display cases. So I wanted to make sure I had some nice display cases that you could see the jewelry that they offered inside of the store. And now here we have the building back and fully assembled for one more quick final view an overview, look, whatever you would like to call it, of the entire building. Uh, again, like I said, I, I may end up tearing it and making it down just a little bit smaller, uh, but I do have to say I personally kind of like it being such a tall building as I think it'll add a lot of detail to my city and a lot of character. So as always with uh, every one of my videos, I really thank you guys for coming. Uh, don't forget to mash that like, subscribe, and share button below. Don't forget to check out my Amazon deals, and I will also have, if you've been watching the video, links throughout the video at the top of the screen up here for uh, also, like I said uh, previously, uh, the haul video of where I bought this particular turntable, and also for the haul video of where I got the parts, the most recent haul video anyway, where I got the parts to finish the inside of this building. So again, as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. Check out my merch and my Amazon links, and we'll see you next time in Bevan's Bricks.